Hi, this is Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, here with some thoughts on the WBA World Heavyweight Championship fight taking place in Finland this weekend between champion Alexander Povetkin and challenger Cedric Boswell. But before I go further, just remember the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Let me just say this. In my opinion, Cedric Boswell is the real deal, even at 42 years old. He's the technician in this fight. Quite frankly, his technical brilliance. And this is a guy who still bends at the waist and who's able to dictate distance behind a jab. His technical brilliance should give him the advantage when these two guys are in the middle of the ring. Right? The question for me is whether or not Boswell, who's a huge underdog, depending on the sports book, he's either a five and a half to one to seven to one underdog. The question for me is whether Boswell at 42 against a heavyweight champion who might be the best pure athlete in the division, whether Boswell can keep Alexander Povetkin who almost certainly is going to have the volume advantage and who almost certainly is going to try to crowd him to offset his technical brilliance. The question is whether Cedric Boswell can keep Povetkin in the middle of the ring. Right? If they get to the side of the ring, up on the ropes, Povetkin is going to have a pronounced advantage. Right? Why? Because Povetkin is much younger, about 10 years younger, throws heavier volume and is simply the better athlete right he can wrestle with you in close he can come in throw volume and overwhelm even a technician like Ruslan Chagayev right my point to you is that because the best punch either fighter has is Cedric Boswell's jab and because Cedric Boswell, quite frankly, is just the far superior technician, in my opinion, and I understand Teddy Atlas is in Povetkin's corner, I believe that this betting spread is absolutely ridiculous. Some books actually have Povetkin as a double-digit favorite, 10 to 1, 12 to 1, with, of course, Boswell after the VIG being a seven to one underdog, five and a half to one to seven to one, that I feel the play here, since I don't believe that Alexander Povetkin can stop Boswell early. I don't. The play for me is that you take Boswell at five and a half to one to win the fight, take the leverage the casino's giving you but straddle it against the over seven and a half rounds at minus 250, right? Because you're getting such huge odds on Boswell, a plus 550, the minus 250 straddle is possible. You can make money if either happens. Let me also point out that if this fight goes to a decision, I believe Boswell has an excellent chance of winning the fight even in Finland. He's the cleaner puncher. I understand he hasn't fought top shelf competition, but understand he has only lost once in his career. And that was to Jamil McCline. And understand in that fight, which was a 10-rounder, Boswell was actually winning the fight on the judges' scorecards. 
before he got caught with an uppercut toward the end of the ninth round, didn't fully recover in the 10th round, and got stopped in the 10th round of a 10-round fight. That is the only fight in his entire career that Boswell has lost. And keep in mind, Boswell has fought some other pretty good fighters, like Oliver McCall, the guy who famously took Lennox Lewis's title the first time. And Boswell, granted, fighting a much older McCall, but McCall still has skills. Boswell dominated McCall behind a jab, won a very wide decision. Right? When Boswell beats you, it's usually by several rounds. Even if the people in Finland are inclined to favor Povetkin, I believe Boswell is going to dominate by such a wide margin if this fight goes the distance that it's going to be very hard to rob him of the decision. So Boswell, yes, I'm talking about a five and a half to one underdog. I believe Boswell is a live dog in this one. I think the most likely outcome, quite frankly, is that Prevetkin catches up to him late in the fight. But all I'm saying to you is I don't see Prevetkin catching up to him early. And I think late in the fight, it gets interesting. What makes Boswell an excellent fighter? And you can see the technique on film is he's turned sideways, he has a very good jab, he bends at the waist. He's high risk because when you throw punches at his head, he's the kind of cagey veteran who doesn't even lift his hand to block the punches. He actually uses head movement to dodge the punches. Also, he's the kind of cagey veteran who's cutting corners. Even early in fights, he keeps that left hand awfully low. But understand, he's playing the angles. He knows what you can hit him with, right? And he's fighting a three-dimensional game. In other words, you just can't come in and crowd him because he's bending at the waist like Pernell Whitaker. Let me also point out that even though Boswell is in his 40s, hand speed wise he's actually still one of the faster heavyweights out there now boxing is a unique sport where sometimes guys with talent somehow fly under radar for most of their careers I believe that that's who Cedric Boswell is he's waited his entire life for this opportunity he believes he belongs in the ring with the Klitschko brothers Right? He's understated. He doesn't have the high profile of others like David Hay. But all I'm saying is this. Boswell at 42 is not coming for a payday. He's coming for Povetkin's title. I believe he pushes this to the later rounds. I think he gives Povetkin all he can handle for at least the first seven rounds of this fight. And let me just tell you how preposterous the lines are. You know, Bosworth late, and Bosworth has a sneaky right hand. He'll shoot it after he hits you with a jab. <laughs> In some sports books, you can get Boswell late. I'm talking about 11th, 12th round for something like 88 to 1. That means you bet $2, you win 88 times 2, $176. That's preposterous. I know Povetkin hasn't lost yet, but Povetkin also really hasn't fought that many people. He did fight Eddie Chambers. He has fought Ruslan Chagayev, but he really hasn't fought that many people. And he has far fewer fights than Boswell. And understand, Povetkin's own corner knows that Povetkin's still learning the sport, even though he's an Olympic gold medalist. They were offered a shot against Vladimir Klitschko <coughs> and Teddy Atlas. <coughs> Provetkin's trainer turned it down. Think about that. Atlas thought his fighter was so green that he turned down a shot at the heavyweight title. 
The way Povetkin got the belt was not by beating a Klitschko. It was by beating Ruslan Chigayev. You know, one of these sanctioning body type deals where suddenly the real champion, Vladimir Klitschko, is deemed a super champion and they break off a portion of the belt for two contenders. So don't be fooled by Povetkin's unbeaten record. Even his corner knows he's green. I'm just here to tell you he's not the technician in this fight. The technician is his 42-year-old challenger. And somehow, because Boswell keeps a low profile, no one seems to think he has a chance to win. I think he's a live underdog. I think he makes it to at least the later rounds, and just that knowledge alone can make you some money. The bet I'm recommending is Boswell to win the fight at at least a plus 550, right? Your casino might be offering even higher odds than that. Straddle against the over seven and a half at minus 250. These bets are available on Skybet if you're a UK better. If you're outside the UK, you'll have to go to your casino to find out what the posted odds are. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments for me here on YouTube. Visit us at predictboxing.blogspot.com and gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for watching.